The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McTwatwaffle, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1991 Sedgwick County Skee-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. J.P. What's up? Woo! Sorry, a little delay on the, on the crowd there. That's okay. It's a big crowd, and that's what matters. Yes, yes, that's right. Huge. <laughs> it's huge. Um, and also, Bigger than anyone's ever seen, from what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, yes, <right>. yes, absolutely. <laughs> and also, he's the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, and the, uh, the current record setter. Oh. Uh, I actually am in the Guinness Book of World Records for number of upper deckers left <laughs> at this address. Yeah. Yeah. So. Nice. I, uh, my wife got to clean that up. That was awesome. She actually did make a complaint. She I said, don't think she's found them all. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, I go way upper deckers. Some of them are on your headboard. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I thought, I wondered what that smell yeah. was. Oh. I like to call that one the green monster. <clears throat> okay, that's fair. Uh, no, my wife actually made the, the comment. Uh, one of you guys that... Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't like it when it's angry. <laughs> use the bathroom, don't have very good aim, apparently. Uh, it probably wasn't you guys. It was probably me when I was drinking, but I blamed it on you. Oh, well, that's so, nice. Yeah. yeah. Did you use the bathroom last week? No. Neither did I. Oh, well... That's she, weird. Yeah, I know. She doesn't listen to this show anyway, so it's okay. I get that's away okay. with murder. I'll tell her on break. Usually yeah. I sit on your toilet AC Slater style. Yeah, oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Is that backwards? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought it's, so. It's like yeah. a table, man. Right. Yeah. That's how I do all my blow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shit okay. Backwards. Some of it I do off of <laughs> other places. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, but anyways, guys, if this is the very first time you've listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, uh, it is a comedy show where we like to make the inappropriate jokes about current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted toward me, and that's fine. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast. We like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, we had a very interesting week uh, as far as news goes. Uh, we got some playoff football to talk about. Uh, and as always, we got overrated, underrated. If uh, we were Google or Google this, questions, preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. Know what's in the box today. You want to know why? Because uh, we didn't pick, in, pick it up. Because we haven't gone by that fucking it's not a <laughs> It's And it's full. You should have texted me. I, I would have went, went and got it. I'm sorry. It's just Actually, yeah. I take that back. Don't ever text me. Oh, fuck you. Um, but anyways, before. Or call. Okay. All right. And but, if you send a carrier pigeon, I'm shooting that fucker out of the sky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blast that son of a bitch back to where it came <laughs> yeah, from. Absolutely. Yeah. Right back to Mike Tyson's den. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to kick this off as we normally do. We're going to talk about the things that have happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. And as always, we're going to give, uh, you know, the funniest one here a head start. So we're going to start with JP. I thought he was talking about you, man. No. no. Oh my God. no. Derek's, I mean, I'm, Derek's way funnier than I am. No, nah, I think you're both. Uh, you guys are right. I'm better. <laughs> um, I just wanted to hear you say it one more time. That's all right. Um, not a lot going on this week, man. Lots no. of work. Um, I have a bunch of people out sick at work, so I spent most of my week there. Yeah. Surprisingly yeah, enough, JP sounds like he's sick, but he's not. That's just no, his, that's, that's just, just his my voice. voice. You <laughs> take enough dick to the throat, and this is what you sound like. <laughs> it just it just loosens it, just it up. Yeah, yeah, it just happens. Yeah, loosens You were born in the wrong decade. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no shit. That ain't no shit. <laughs> you in the like late eighties, early nineties, <laughs> oh, or in the seventies, or in the seventies. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Little Barry White. Yeah. Oh yeah. What you What you do for fun? Did you do anything for fun over the week? A weekend? No? 
I mean, you don't have to go into detail. Please, I mean, uh, uh, please, yeah, okay. Please so here don't. it is. Picture this. No. Uh, no, I mean, I went bowling a couple of times, but yeah. apparently that's not a sport. It's not. Yeah. So it's a game. I get, but it was fun. That's good. Did you do okay? And one time I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 50-50. Why, why is it? I mean, Wichita, Kansas is known for, like, great bowlers. Mm-hmm. Why? Because yeah. they have one of the best collegiate programs in the country, why if do, not the best. I know, but why do they come here? What else is there to fucking do There's here? There's tons of stuff to do here. Bowl and fuck. That's it. <laughs> or get your car washed and eat chicken. And I like to do both at the same time in either case. <laughs> oh, really? And get yep. your car washed and eat chicken at nope. the yes. same time? Yes. Yeah. And bowl and fuck. <laughs> bowl ah. and fuck. Yep. Take, the whole, take the whole bowling ball there, do you? Absolutely. Yeah. That is going to make a mess out of the inside of your car. (laughs) You're going to have to have them detail it after you get it out of the wash. (laughs) Oh, my. smart thing to do. He's talking about the chicken, man. I don't know where your head's at. Real cool, man. I'm sorry. I just know if you could get a bowling ball up there, you're not sealing much inside there. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's. uh, You'd be surprised how how much it shrinks back down. (laughs) Oh, God. That's awful. Ask Pat Oswalt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Uh, so that's it. That's all you did. Bowl that and work. That is literally it, man. I, I know what you didn't do. What? P- come over and, and play, play poker, poker with I me and it. Tarek. I was whooped that man. I worked uh, open to close that day. It was a long day. We were busy. Yeah. I just couldn't do it, man. It was what? Like, that's like an eight-hour shift, isn't it? Yeah. Twelve. Oh, okay. 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 All right. That's 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 acceptable. That's, that's yeah. Fine. I remember my first part time job. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> I mean, you got it rough, man. Sitting <laughs> sitting in an air conditioned office in a chair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you. Eating lunch. Yeah. Second lunch. The third cu- lunch. Third lunch. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. The cushion in my chair is actually wearing out prematurely, oh, so I've got to get a new man. chair. I feel horrible yeah. for you. <laughs> Yeah, man, JP will life. happily volunteer his lap. Rough life. Yeah, it's soft. <laughs> <laughs> At least it starts out that way. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh, but anyway, I guess, uh, but yeah, uh, Derek invited a couple of folks to come over and play poker. Uh, really wanted JP to be there, but uh, obviously he had his, his stuff going on. Um, had a great time. Uh, I I didn't do so well. Uh, I, I what? Oh no! Oh no! I played well. I didn't. I didn't. Oh. I didn't over drink. Uh, I just. I, I just got very unlucky cards. That sucks. <laughs> and it, and you can't say it's like okay, yeah, you got really unlucky cards. Like really? It's like no. You know what took me out? I had pocket kings top pair, and it turns out that Derek ended up taking me out with pocket aces. What a dick. So <laughs> that I mean, sucks. That's great. It's the I'm, only cards I love when Derek wins. It makes my heart swell. He did really well. Yeah, he did. He did really I'm well. I'm really that glad night. for him. I, I did very well. Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I love hanging out with that that group of guys. They're just always cool. Stephen Holt is awesome. Um, a new guy that I've never played with. I don't think maybe I have Tim. Um, <laughs> does the best fucking Adam Sandler mama voice from yeah. Oh Good God? It was so perfect. You want to play around with the cock and ball for mama? But it was on fucking point. It was the best. So it was exactly the opposite of what you just exactly did. Exactly the opposite of what I just did. <laughs> good yes. deal. Good it was thank f- you for trying. Uh, it was fucking amazing. But yeah, it was a really good time and there was one <laughs> asshole there that I still can't fucking stand. Um, but I uh, wasn't there. Not you. I love you. The other oh. dude's a piece of shit. Um, but anyways. Uh, you the, knew he was going to say it. <laughs> Before yeah. we went on the air, he no, said, don't say it. Back. Scotty says, okay. Yeah, no, I'm going to. Oh, he said it. Uh, what but, a jerk. <laughs> but um other than that i uh i was very excited i accidentally shared a personal couple of pictures on our laughing on the sidelines instagram totally didn't mean to i Uh, meant to share a couple pictures of my wife getting her skis it's a big deal for both of us that she now has her own skis she's way excited now you're rich for sure yeah like congratulations you made it right (laughs) but i shared them on my personal facebook page and somehow it went straight to our like podcast instagram and before hmm. i could even pick up my phone and notice it that it had late. like yeah it was like it, there's no point anymore and so why so i just left it up there so now everybody knows what my wife looks like uh but yeah i was really pumped for and her. they're all you've posted for her shocked on there before <laughs> i did i yes i don't remember that. he has to because oh, nobody yeah. would believe yeah nobody would nobody would believe jp's yeah. like he's uh kind of you know just playing it off until yeah. she leaves him and then then he's gonna come over and suck my dick oh for sure yeah um, but no, I was very excited for her. She, uh, she is way pumped. Uh, we took them today so she can get the bindings and boots and everything all measured up. She's excited. Oh, Jesus, for that. not this again. Oh yeah. And 
I got my snowboard done. It's sitting right back I where it goes. It. Oh, I and it, it looks sexy as fuck. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty pumped with that. But to to wrap up my my weekend and I guess week, uh, right before I uh, started heading home from work today, I stumbled upon a TikTok that blew me the fuck away, and I wanted your guys' honest opinion about this. So there is a reality TV show of a girl. Pass. Hold on. Hard pass. Not no 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 not at the show. I'm I'm not asking you to watch the fucking show. Uh, talk about the situation. She's a 22 year old girl who I'm had in again who had cancer. Pass. Brain cancer back when she was eight years Wait, old. She had brain cancer. You have a shot. Double pass. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. Wait till you get to the best part. Oh. So she had brain cancer when she was eight years old, which actually stopped her from growing. So she legitimately is 22 years old. And looks like she's 12. And looks, no, looks eight. like she's eight. Oh. She, so, there's plenty of creepy dudes. Hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. So now she's 22 years old. She she wants to, you know, date. And so she's dating, uh, at least the I video I saw. Seen, a little oh, blonde chick. Oh, fuck, yeah. I think oh, I've my seen God. parts of that this dude, somewhere. She ended up going on a date with this dude that's like 25 years old, looks completely and totally normal, and it just got it, gr- got it gross. creeps me out, yeah, man. Like, cool. how did uh, red flags need to be just blowing up? What the fuck? There really is someone out there for everyone. I get it. it. I get it. <laughs> that's, that's the catch twenty two. It's like you don't want. I got hope. married for fuck's sake. That's yeah, true. but but it is. It's like it's such a catch twenty two because you don't want this poor girl to be affected for the rest of her life. However, but you also don't want her with a molester. That's exactly right. It's <laughs> yes, like, you well, do. That is I one mean, less child. Basic, yeah, that's true for too. That guy to molest. She's taking one yeah. for the team. Oh yeah. man, and, and the other thing she is, she ought to be getting an award. It's, oh God, it's so fucked up. She, the, she should be the sting. <laughs> <laughs> yes that that is a perfect job title for it yeah. but no like i mean i'm judging every normal guy that dates her from this point no, on there you you know why that show stopped don't you that to catch a predator uh-uh. because chris hansen got caught well no there no i don't know. there was a guy from texas and i think he was a da or an assistant da oh shit and Good. Uh, Fuck got him nailed too. And when they went to arrest him, he blew his fucking brains out. Oh, no so way. That was the end of the show. Wow. Yeah, the camera crew fucking wow. saw it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the that was the end of the show. Chris Hansen <laughs> was like, I'm done with the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow. he would never have made it on Tiger King. Woo! Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> I, I haven't watched Tiger King 2. Have you? Uh, oh, yeah. Is it good? No, it's just as good as one. <laughs> okay, so no, it's, so, it's, <laughs> yeah. so it's great, is what you're saying. No, what? it's not as good as one. Uh, one is Tiger King uh, two. Is that the one where they just did the bunch of interviews? I, I have a guess. I'm guessing. It was, yeah, it was I'm, dumb. I'm guessing. I thought one was dumb. Too. I thought no, one, it no, wasn't. one it was, was fucking like, amazing, <laughs> it was man. So great. Oh, it was fabulous. <laughs> oh. We're not that far away. I wanted to go down there and meet that guy. <laughs> I knew sure. somebody that oh. had been there when that was open, and he That's was awesome. not in prison. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, so, yeah, that uh, that ruined my entire week just because that is such a fucked up situation. I'm judging everybody who tries to date that little girl. Now I love it because it ruined your week. <laughs> okay, Yeah, fair. it's my favorite show. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyways, uh, how about you, Derek? How was your week? I made a lot of money. You uh, made a lot of my money. Yeah, it was fantastic. Thank God for the first time it wasn't my money. <laughs> yeah, because you weren't there. Oh, I would have. If JP was there, I was taking the oh, next three weeks of yeah, work off. For sure. Need. Oh, yep. uh, yeah. Make sure I, you donate to JP's GoFundMe so Derek can take that money too. Yeah, I had I really, a, really. I had a hand that JP would have loved. Uh, I raised uh, in oh, the, yeah. on the button with uh, two four of hearts. Out a kid. I was like, you know what? That's I'm a, a good hand. And flop top two, or I got one guy went all in, and I for less than what I raised for. So okay, so that was the in. yeah. So I had to show and flop top two and turned a boat. Nice, <laughs> nice. Because you're Derek Alders. That's, That's what I do, baby. What you do? Yeah, you know, wheel of fortune, thousands of dollars. Yeah. It's I'm not lucky at all. Fuck oh, you. Come on, man. Jesus, Katie. I didn't win the yeah. Mega Millions, so there's that. His not wife. This time. His wife is awesome. Like what the mm-hmm. fuck? Oh, yeah. she's way awesome. Yeah, I know. But uh, so yeah, so I uh, I ended up winning about uh, for the twenty and forty and sixty bucks everybody buys in for on the cash game. I won three hundred dollars. So, that was, <laughs> so that everybody was, else uh, was very upset. Yeah, most everybody <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah, I had a very good Ooh, day. Wow. Yeah. So, I'm glad I didn't go now. <laughs> yeah, I was really missing you. Yeah. yeah. I bet you were happy and stuff. Oh, oh I was. I, I hate, and I drank I an hate ent- to see that. I drank an entire bottle of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> he, did. He, he did. Yeah. He, he sure uh, did. A whole goddamn bottle. Now, it wasn't like a fucking liter. 
Mm-hmm. But I drank a Still, whole fucking bottle, yeah, and awesome. it was expensive bourbon. Yeah. So well, and I was sober. Like you could afford it, and, yeah, I, and I was I actually the sober one. I was actually do just fine. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. we all did shots, but Scotty. Yeah, I did. I <laughs> yeah, did at one yeah. point. I was like, anybody want a shot? And Scotty's like, oil fire. And I was like, anybody else? Nobody. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I washed my hands when I came out of the bathroom. That's wow. uh, well, we, there's no video evidence. I, mean, I, I did. He says I, he did. I complained about your sink because they both turn the same direction and not the way that they're supposed to. So you know well, that is the smell of your wrist. Say otherwise. Okay. That means you turn the water on. That doesn't mean you washed your hands. <laughs> yeah. 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 Too shame. Look at sound like I am. Leave yeah. it. Leave it running while he's pooping. Right. <laughs> so, That's probably so what it nobody was. Nobody knows uh-huh. what he's doing. You right. caught me. You like, caught me. God, is he brushing his teeth? <laughs> no, I'm huh? brushing my esophagus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Always. <laughs> keep a clean esophagus <laughs> uh anything else to do uh i drank, drank a lot yeah we, uh, we did went out friday and drank a lot and then drank a lot saturday and then sunday didn't do anything because i was hung over and then went out drinking monday yeah so i did uh that was i had an extra where day where did you go monday i went to the oasis where oh. i always go okay the bar i always hang out at. so basically chances are if you live in the wichita area and you want to possibly run into Derek. just go to the oasis after 6 30 <laughs> why would you want to do that yeah exactly <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea stay away yeah, man. there goes all the business the oasis had yeah <laughs> i don't know i think people like him there no, i they, doubt that at the oasis i'm popular but right, outside of there true. i'm not as soon as he walks out the door yeah i'm back to a human kids are throwing shit. ice cream at him yeah <laughs> i'm catching it in my He's mouth catchy. yeah right that's exactly where i was going yeah <laughs> the meth heads have vacated that area haven't they ah uh, Sometimes okay, right. yeah. I'm not. I don't work there anymore. So. <laughs> they're nomad. They're nomadic now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, they just kind of have a uh-huh. migratory pattern. Oh, yeah, they got geez. Oasis only has visitation rights in the summer <laughs> exactly. on weekends. Exactly. Yeah, they don't hang out around there, and then when it's cold. Yeah. So, um, well, oh, and I watched oh. a, a documentary on Netflix that is recently came out. <clears throat> they mm-hmm. they made one about remember Kai the hatchet wielding hitchhiker. Ooh, the dude no. that was like. Uh, some dude wrecked a car and then like grabbed and attacked a woman and then this dude that was hitchhiking with him got out of the car. I do and remember he's like, that. And, and I took my hatchet and yep. just smash, smash, smash. Yeah, I do remember that. That is a fucked up documentary. Yeah, <laughs> it follows like from there on and like everybody thought he was like this cool fucking chill. But dude. he is not. And he's fucking crazy. Well, of course he is. And they ooh, went ooh. to he, he was going to be on Kimmel, I guess. <sighs> they found him and tracked him down to put on Kimmel and they got him to the hotel on Hollywood Boulevard and right before the, the lady that went and picked him up and drove him there was like, hey, keep an eye on him to the other guy that worked for him. He's like, alright, while well, I go park. She went to park, comes back, turns and sees him, and he's pissing right on Enrique Iglesias' star on the walk of fame. <laughs> 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 then they're like, he got into the hotel and just chugged a bottle of Jack Daniels. Not like a mini bottle, but a big, a big bottle. bottle. Nice. And then started skateboarding down. They kicked him out of the fucking hotel. <sighs> he, he got on Kimmel. He was pissing on Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel's banner. Like, just Jesus Christ. fucking... Great, and then he killed a guy. So, yeah, so he might have been a little nuts. He's he little rascal. It's fun, dude. You got to watch it. Oh, it's definitely fucking check fantastic. It out. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, while we're talking about stuff like that, like what we watched and everything, um, first thing, first things first, I'm going to tell you right now that uh, history is pushing their uh, history vault, uh, like streaming services where you can watch all these documentaries, commercial free and shit. Uh, don't fucking buy it. You can do the ex- you can watch the exact same shit on the History Channel app for free. You just have commercials. It's fucking stupid. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, I, t- I take it you did it. I yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> fucking sucker. Um, and the second thing, what was the second thing I watched? God damn it. I can't even fucking remember what I was oh, going to say. Man, it must have been oh, good. oh, oh, no, no. Um, I actually watched a really fucking cool interview. It's from years ago, but one of my favorite TV shows is on National Geographic. It's called Life Below Zero. Have you ever heard of it, seen it? No? Okay. It's basically of all these people that live above the Arctic Circle in Alaska, so they live like pretty much seclusive lives by themselves pass yeah i love it um but anyways it was actually a joe rogan interview with a gal named sue aiken she's a 60 year old lady that basically single-handedly runs an emergency airport b&b at the basically northernmost tip of alaska so the ocean that her town borders is the arctic ocean not anything else so yeah fucking cold 
That's a pirate's favorite ocean. The Arctic? The Arctic. Arctic. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Uh, I hated it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Which but, means it was probably good. <laughs> but anyways, I'll make it really quick. I, I, I listened to her do this interview with Joe it's Rogan. too late for quick. I'm making it quick. Uh, she ended up uh, doing an interview and actually telling a story about how she was attacked by a bear. Uh, and she practically almost died, had to recover, and then went out and basically hunted that bear down and fucking shot it. What a bad bitch. Well, of course. She's 60 years old. Jesus fucking nice. Christ. Yeah, it sounds like she basically and practically did a lot of stuff. She did. But I didn't want to go into the details. But I, I heard the whole interview. It's on Rogan. It's one of his like first uh, like in the 500. So it was pretty fucking amazing. But yeah. Anyways, uh, we got some stuff to get to, guys. We got a lot of stuff to do. But before we do that, we are going to talk about our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep yourself groomed. I know, I can't even remember what it's called, but I know they now have a beard trimmer. Uh, a listener actually uh, sent the uh, picture of that to me today. And I, I want to say it's called the Wedger or Wedge. I can't remember what it's called, so I apologize. <laughs> for, for anybody that needs one, it's called the Lawnmower 4.0 here at my house. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just yeah. use the same one. It's, yeah, it's equally as good. I do. I've got my beard trimmers, and then here, you can borrow these ones. <laughs> I only use the Wedge for my butt. <laughs> Yeah, it sure just fits do. in there so nice. I thought, I thought it was more of a nine iron guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, mm-hmm. I figured you for the drive. Always a wedge. Okay. Uh, but no, they have excellent products to help keep uh, a guy groomed. Uh, this is for your dick balls and butthole. They have the lawnmower 4.0 with an adjustable LED uh, light and docking station because you know you like to dock it, right there, JP? I cannot dock. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, I don't, I can't. Yeah, you can just put it in the docking station. Put the lawn mo- it, uh, Okay. Uh, but yes, they have other products uh, like the weed whacker to help get your ear hair and uh, nose hair. That's very important. The dick right. hatchet. That, the no, dick that's hatchet. not a real product. The dick that's, hatchet is fake. That, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's totally fake. It's still in R. It's still in R&D, it, man. If it works out, it will help you smash, smash, <laughs> smash. <laughs> smash. <laughs> Uh, but do us a favor, go check them out. At, <laughs> go check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code sidelines. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. God, that helps. we're dumb. We are. Yeah. Uh, helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we're reading these commercials. Word for fucking word. Fucking people are listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. no. I couldn't believe it last oh, week. There were shit. people that commented. And oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, dude, what are these? <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Like, Surely you guys, you guys can find something better to do. <laughs> no. You know Jeremy's gone, right? Right. right. No. There's no more <laughs> yeah. reasons to watch this show. I, it shocks me every single week. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Hold on. But the people have spoken. They love JP. JP's fucking awesome. Oh, I don't blame them. And this is my second week in a row. I've yeah. never done that before. Right. And I'll have to tell you, I walked in here with a pretty big heart on. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I'm uh, happy. No, that's just the uh, that's just the candles my wife lights. They have like Viagra infused oh, in them. And that, well, hel- that helps me out a lot. I'm going to take one of your candles. Yeah, I know. Uh, but anyways, we got a lot of sports to get to that you happened. Can't get it up, huh, Scotty? I struggle from time to time. Mm. I, uh, I I have to I have to light a couple candles in order to masturbate, or else I Popsicle start. Popsicle sticks and rubber bands, my friend. Yeah, uh, toothpicks and rubber bands. <laughs> right. I was trying to give him the benefit <laughs> was, of the doubt. Yeah. I have to light those candles, and or else or, I beat off vigorously and end up having a bruised uh, inside of right. a penis, or and uh, strangely pink eye. Or popsicles and rubber bands, and then JP will get it down. Yeah, the there you go. Yeah, there you there. go. Hey, oh. Yeah. All right. Well, we had some uh, we had some big news in the uh, sporting community over the weekend. Uh, we had some playoff NFL football, which is not quite the best time of the year for me. It's not my favorite time of the year. I think that's uh, that's baseball playoff season for me. I don't, how about you? What a uh, mine? Yeah, March Madness. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, that makes sense. March Madness. Your team's never in the playoffs, so I forgot Good. about that in baseball. What, baseball? Yeah, we or just baseball. Ran a World Series baseball like playoffs. Or football. For Baseball's that boring. Baseball's man. fucking bomb. So boring. But anyways, we had a fun-filled week of NFL playoffs. Uh, we're going to start it off with the uh, the longest fumble recovery for a <laughs> touchdown in postseason history. Puts the Bengals over the Ravens. I don't think it should have been that close. That it guy should have never got, been that close. That it, guy should have got called for block in the back on that recovery. I think he hit him in the side, Why? and the guy ended up down. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think it was a block in the back. I thought it was. It wasn't. Like, granted, I was glad it happened. Yeah. The touchdown happened, but I think oh, that was a block. I hate back. the Ravens. It, it scares the shit out of me because out of all of the teams that are currently left, I have two teams that I'm really rooting for, um, and that's the – Bengals and the Bills. Well, and you'll only be rooting for one of them after this week. That's yeah. right, but that's who I need to beat the fucking Chiefs. I just, I, I don't. I disagree, want, man. Oh, man. I disagree. 
No, I, I, Any that's one I, of these teams could beat the Chiefs. I hope you're right. Oh, I'm 100% right. We almost beat them twice. The Broncos? Yes. Yeah, I know. Russell Wilson actually like had a decent game playing Well, I'm just saying we almost beat them twice. If that scary. can happen. I know. I know. I really honestly, man, I pray that, that Jacksonville wins this game. I do too. I actually, oh my I actually God. really hoped that the Chiefs would actually lose the bye week somehow. but They, they didn't. They, they made it. They fuck. squeaked it. Squeaked through. It sucks. Uh, but yeah, the longest fumble recovery in postseason history um, for a touchdown. There's, what? there's a guy What's that your... plays for K State. Yeah. KU. Named Dick. KU. KU. Yeah, I knew his that was name be is your Dick. Favorite. Yeah, he's gonna be your favorite player. I wow. Knew yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, it's okay. That really, I like that. Yeah. Uh, but while we were playing cards on Saturday night, I think all of us were in absolute shock when we watched Unreal. Jacksonville come back after being down 27 points to beat the Los Angeles Chargers. Holy awesome. fuck. We were sitting there joking the entire time, just going, Oh, yeah, it's yeah, over. Hey, don't don't count them out yet, you know? And we were being sarcastic assholes and saying, Remember that 28 to 3 game? You know, the Falcons and the Buccaneers? You never know. And sure as there fucking shit. I want to oh. know what the money line was when they were down 27 Right. Nothing. Yeah, no kidding. When they like, were down 27 nothing, I just know that there was a guy that lost $1.4 million and he would have only won like, oh, a, like 11 grand. Uh, yeah. yeah, he wouldn't have won anything. Nothing. They had a guy lost it they had a guy do that eagles versus commanders this year oh my uh, the eagles were undefeated heavily favored and it was their first loss of the season and he bet like i don't know it was like a million dollars to win like thirty thousand. like it was Grief. so bad because he bet money, the money line just straight uh, up uh, i need to know some of those people yeah <laughs> right like i could they really listen to use the a show. Long. well do they probably i bet they do Only I bet. that's probably do. true no, i'm you, kidding all you of you make guys a good smart. point um but yeah no, uh, but there was a lot of shit like outside of uh, a, a, like after the game. I ended up finding out. So Nick Bosa ends up freaking out on the sidelines, like slamming his helmet. They missed a blatant holding call uh, in that game, blatant, and um, they ended up scoring a touchdown off of it, which in hindsight had them win the game basically. Uh, but my hats off to the head coach for Jacksonville. They he ended up going for two. Um, to actually have them win the game. Win I mean, game. It, it was yeah. fucking. It was a great game. It was awesome in the second half. So it was fun to watch that while we were playing poker. I mean, we were folding hands that were probably decent just so we could watch the game and not have to worry about playing cards. Oh, that's why you lost. Yeah, um, probably. And Trevor Lawrence celebrated the same goddamn way I would have. <laughs> Went to the awful waffle. Went to the awful waffle. Goddamn, right. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. That's, that's exactly how I would have celebrated. Yeah, absolutely. When you when you have a when you have a good day like that, you know, throwing four interceptions in a single half and then going out in the second half and throwing four just, touchdowns yeah. you know it's a good day but it it keeps his streak alive i didn't realize this but uh trevor lawrence has not lost a single game on saturday let's hope that streak stays alive uh do they play saturday <laughs> i don't know they but do. uh, come on i like to think at halftime doug peterson was in the locker room and he goes all right guys i know it's 27 to nothing and we're down big but you we win this game we're going to the Waffle House. That's right. And then and Trevor fucking, Lawrence was boom, like, fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. I think that's what happened. That's all you needed to say. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Let's fucking go. That's all we've been waiting to hear. <laughs> and that is known as the greatest halftime speech yeah. of all time. That's I'd right. go ahead and start with that next week. <laughs> yeah, uh, But JP is correct. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars play in Kansas City Saturday at uh, 3.30 p.m. Yeah, man, I got a buddy going to the game. Go Jags. So. Yeah. Hopefully he's very disappointed. I, man, I hope. I, yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, then we had uh, you know the Minnesota Vikings uh, ended up uh, playing a. I guess you could call that a football game as well. Um, it was. I mean, not Seven a very game. not a very good one in my opinion. Uh, they should have wiped the floor with the Giants with as much talent as they have on that team. Oh, I disagree, man. You're way, way, way undersold the Giants. Oh uh, no, they have Saquon Barkley, and don't even try to sit there and tell me that that's not it. That man. Daniel Jones is a decent quarterback. He is a decent quarterback. I don't think so. Not not to For me. For sure, he is. No. He made the postseason. I don't care. How about it, Detroit? I, uh, hey, hey, hey! I'd now. take Jones over Goff. I would take Goff over Jones. Oh well, you're a fool. I would take as well. You're a Detroit fan, so that says okay. everything. I would do. It. Yeah, Jones um, can run it too. Yeah, mm, sure. uh, but anyways, uh, it's in the game. Uh, Kirk Cousins, man, I, I swear to God, whenever he's in like a fucking prime like, time, prime time, you lose, go home situation. He just has the brain farts <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. He needs eight yards to get a first down and continue playing the game, and they had a chance to win or at least tie the game, and he throws a three yard pass to a to a freaking like flat route like what the fuck are you doing dude yeah what are you fucking doing 
that's uh, that that happens more than you would know. Oh. Not just with cousins, just quarterbacks in, in general. general. I watch fucking Mitch Trubisky do that all the goddamn time. Do, <laughs> do they just fucking go to default mode? <laughs> fucking yeah. third and ten. Let's right. run a two yard slant. Yeah. <sighs> that used to be like the Chiefs' bread and butter. Those Back little tiny day, slants. Those little tiny slants like that. Yeah. Where you need eight yards. To Tyreek Hill oh. because he's faster than shit? No, I'm talking about way back. back. Oh, way, way before back? Tyreek oh. Hill. Okay. Right. Back when they were still the Chiefs. Like, well, when they sucked? Right. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I'm glad you kind of brought it up because after looking at this division in the uh, in the playoff situation, obviously the NFC North's only uh, participant in the playoffs is the uh, Minnesota Vikings. Do you think out of, out of the NFC North – Will the Lions actually win the NFC North next year? You asked this question last week. Uh, no, I didn't. I asked it uh, last uh, or on Saturday night. Yeah, I bet the answers are all the same. Do you think? I mean, do you think they do it? No. You don't. No. You're gonna tell me Green Bay? I think they'll win the North. I do too. Why, I, I really why do. Why do you think that? They, they uh, not only that they have two first round picks and two second round picks, and they can they can do a lot with those. And realistically. I think they're pretty set offensively. You think they're going to win the Super Bowl? No, I'm oh. not a Dallas Cowboy fan. No, 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 no. God, I hope Dallas wins the Super I Bowl. I fucking hate that shit. No, I, I think they're going to be good, uh, and I think they'll make the playoffs. I think they'll win the division. Yeah, I, I think uh, next year's going to be an awesome year for, for Detroit. Awesome. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess we can finish off with this. The uh, Dallas Cowboys end up beating <laughs> Tampa Bay despite kicker Brett Maher missing – Four consecutive extra <laughs> points. Did you see what Jerry Jones said after the game? No. Uh, they asked him, are you, are you going to go out and look for a kicker this week? He said, nope, 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 nope. He's done some good ones. He's done enough good ones. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what he said. He missed four extra points He's all season. He's done some good ones. Well, fucking. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I, d- I mean, no. Yeah. You, see, Dak, you can't miss three. I guess four. Points, four extra four. points. Four. I guess fucking four. I guess Dak was on the sidelines oh, at one losing point, his screaming shit after the third one. Go for two. Go yeah. for yeah. fucking two. Which yeah. I th- I think I, I mean I, honestly honestly the dude hasn't been bad all fucking year. He missed four extra points, which is still kind of kind of up there. Uh, but four in a single game, that's nerves. That's something's well, in his head. Something's wrong. Yeah. Something's so, definitely wrong. So you regroup, you figure out what it was, and you, you don't. Pump, f- yeah, you yeah, don't you pump fucking him up. Do, you pump him sure. up. You don't do that shit. I agree. Which is why I don't like Dak. I think Dak's a piece of shit, and uh, I think they're going to get their ass kicked next week. I, I hope they win the Super Dak. Bowl. Oh, God. Please, I know you do. Please man. fucking don't. Oh, um, that'll make me so happy. I was really pulling for Tom Brady. I was hoping he had a, a, at least that a, guy just ripped the ball away from Dick. They can't see that, dude. Well, I can. <laughs> okay, and it was not cool. <laughs> um, but after watching that game, uh, Tom Brady looked like garbage. He looked awful. He was under throwing receivers. He might have made then, the wrong decision. <laughs> and then yelling. And then he was yelling at him. He was yelling at his yeah, receivers because it was their they, fault, man. No, you dickhead! You threw it five yards. Like he threw it where him. they should have been. No, no. He, like what? Did you oh, want him so to stop? Tom Brady's the one that made the mistake. Yes, but he was blaming the other players. Dude. Yeah, man. That's what everybody says. That's not like, that can't be right. I think so, dude. Yeah. He's too good, man. They had to have. They're the ones that were messing up, man. Yeah. Well, in the press conference after the game, it he pretty much kind of said he ain't gonna be in oh, Tampa Bay next year. We didn't think that was even a thing Ooh, e- anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We figured he'd be out of there. Uh, we, yeah, think, we kind of did. I think he's going home. Where you, you mean like home, like not playing football? Back to, yeah, done. No, no I don't way. Think so. I don't think so. I think. I don't think after. Play. Yeah, I think I, he wants to play too. I don't think he had any fucking fun this season. He did it kind of course cost. not. But Nick, I think that's a lot to do with his personal life, and it, he needs to square that away. I was going to say, yeah, season, yeah. I'll give him a chance to do that. It kind of cost him his family. You know what I mean? And I don't think he had any fun. And I think he, looking back on it, he's probably like, "This wasn't worth it." Mm-hmm. And I don't think he plays again. I think he plays again just to keep him sane. You ever had like a really shitty like something happen, like somebody dies in your family and it really beats you up? Yeah, and I when started you go to, doing this podcast. Yeah. And- <laughs> <laughs> no, you go to work. I've been happy since. You go to work to try to get it off your mind kind of thing. I think that's what he's going to do because he's just that kind of a guy. So, no, I think he plays next year. And, God damn it, I think he – I mean, it's starting to look maybe Vegas. It really is. Um, I don't. I really don't think so. I know he wants to go to San Francisco. Well, I mean, they definitely need to get rid of their quarterback. Uh, they are. Yeah, that's uh, I, mean, I mean, Derek yeah, Carr's going gone. someplace right. else, and yes. I don't know where. But I, there are rumors of him going to the Jets. I wish Derek we Carr. could get rid of our quarterback. <laughs> uh yeah, I wish you. could. We cannot. I feel bad 
genuinely for Broncos fans. I really thank you. I really do. Thank you. Um, I we just appreciate I that. just like you and the Chiefs equally, but I I really feel bad for you because you got the shit into that stick bad. It could be worse. We could be I don't Detroit know. fans. Uh, no, no, it's good to be a Detroit fan right now. Kind of a, a crazy stat um, now that's left. The oldest quarterback in the playoffs. Is twenty nine years old. Yeah, that's that insane. is Dak Prescott. That's we crazy. had so many years of Brady and Roethlisberger and Dick Face and <laughs> <laughs> I mean Drew Brees. You know all those guys. Dick, Dick Face, Face is uh-huh. Aaron Rodgers. Yes, for sure. They know with a D. You, yeah. you don't have to capitalize it even. <laughs> but Where? they had all all those all those years of those guys. And in the first round, Brady was the oldest after Brady. In the actual playoffs, second oldest, Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Third, Geno Smith. Yeah, that, that's awful. That's that, crazy. It's nuts. Like, that's, uh, the young guys have finally taken the league over, something that we never thought we'd really oh. see. It's yeah. because that's all they, you know, they just focus so hard on that the single game. Yeah. Where, where does We Rogers didn't used to go? do that. When you played sports, you played all sports. Yeah. Now you don't do that. Yeah. You, you focus on one. one since you were three years old. So, yeah. and man, they're so much better. What uh, wh- What do you think happens to Rodgers? Where do you think he goes? To it's, hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight to hell. Straight to hell. Yeah. No, it's I'm being serious. Where do you think he goes? Because he's not going to be in, in Green Bay. There's if, no way. They're moving on to Jordan Love. Tampa Bay. Okay, that's a possibility. It is a very good possibility. I mean, that is a possibility. They love investing into really old quarterbacks. Yeah, they do. Especially, uh, but but I think uh, Tom Brady was actually a decent one. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is as good as everybody thinks he is. But that's just me. Uh, any, any place you think, Derek? Hopefully in front of a fucking truck. <laughs> Firing squad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that yeah. ayahuasca hit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wham! <laughs> fucking dirt. Hopefully, uh, fucking Dwayne Haskins is ass oh God. across the fucking oh, highway. Wow. wow, that's still right. one of my favorite that's shows awesome. from this show. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Look, an eagle. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, now we're gonna get to the playoff predictions. Obviously, are we? Yeah, we got that. We got week uh, week two basically. So this is gonna be the divisional round. You have the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are favored by eight and a half. Who do you got? Got to go with the Jags, man. I'll Jags. tell you this. I want them to win the whole thing, and if they do, I'd be so free blowjobs for every listener. <laughs> if you want them. Man. If, you know what? If they lose, still. Okay. Free blowjobs for still. every listener. Glory hole or no glory hole? It's up to them. Okay, fair. Still one of my favorite things ever, man. Back when the Cubs were in the World Series, and I went to uh, Chicago yeah. to watch all the games with uh, my best friend Brian and my best friend Bo that lives up there, yeah. and then uh, ran into Steve Holt. That's when him and yeah. I kind of started first hanging out. Right. And and his uh, now fiance, uh, 17, and we're all sitting at the at this bar, and it's game six, so it's not very busy because we were down three one. Now we're down three two going into game six, mm-hmm. and Addison Russell's up to the hat. And I said, "Man, bases are loaded." I go, "If Addison Russell hits a grand slam here, I will buy the table a round of shots." And I'm like, <laughs> all right, and then fucking Steve goes. If Addison Russell hits a grand slam here, I'll suck everybody at the table's dick. <laughs> and then the next, Crack. next fucking pitch, fucking grand <clears throat> slam. But I was oh, like, that's awesome. uh, round of Jaeger bombs. Steve, you're up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to this day, we've never gotten those blowjobs. Damn. Poor guy. I think he could probably just do JP. JP will enjoy it. <laughs> no, you can't pawn it off. Oh, you can't. No. Oh, okay. Non-transferable, <laughs> that's, sir. That's okay. Is the, that is the fucking definition of one man's trash and another man's treasure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, shit. Oh, oh. Uh, actually, speaking of which, I did a video about uh, Jamal Williams today. Did you see who commented on that? No. The Detroit fucking Lions did. Uh, uh, did they? Yeah. They they're really. Real the real Detroit. Yeah, they're, right. They're, yeah. How do you know those are the real ones? No, yeah. no. I'll tell, because they're very. It's, it's a verified. It's, it's a fucking verified account count blue check yeah. mark and everything okay it's really hard to get one of those now i hear yeah, uh, yeah it really is yeah yeah right there and i follow i follow them too yeah. <laughs> so fuck yeah i thought that was pretty dope that is um, cool man um uh, but anyways God, you're the cool uh, you shit. can tell he's a detroit fan because he says the detroit lions he's like i'm gonna go get the get some italian food and watch the detroit <laughs> lions game <laughs> i'm only getting italian because the buffet's closed on sundays <laughs> 
Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> next game, when you got uh, the New York Giants coming off of their upset win. Uh, they get to go to Philadelphia and play the 14-3 and Eagles. What a great – this is the best game that's Jaylen left. Jalen Hurts is starting. You think, I mean, really? dude, old school. NFC Come East. On. NFC East. They're both really good. <sighs> um, but I think – I. I think the Eagles pull it out. I, I hate to do. I hate it, but I think the Eagles win. I think. I think the Eagles blow them out. No, nah, I don't disagree about that. The Eagles are currently favored by seven and a half. I will take the Eagles with that spread. I think they'll beat them by ten or more. That Derek. I think the Eagles will win. I think again. I think probably by nine or ten. Yep, uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to say nine since you're saying ten. Okay, I think it's a straight <laughs> nine point game. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I think uh, Sunday. Uh, the Harry Potter. It's going to be nine and three quarters. Nine oh, and three nine quarters. and three. Okay. All right. Uh, Sunday. First game is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals at the Buffalo Bills. Oh, Cincy. boy. That's oh, going to be the game. That's uh, going to be the game. I don't know. Is DeMar hey. Hamlin playing? Uh, no. No, okay. no, he's not. No. Uh, but he's doing really good. Yeah. He's doing really well. He not, got to hang out with his team. Not good enough to play, I guess. Not, well, I, wouldn't e- I wouldn't either. Uh, currently, the Bills Ever again. <laughs> Ever again. Cur- currently, Buffalo is favored by uh, f- uh, five uh, right now. And um, after I'll watching that. after watching these two teams play over this last week, I think this is one one team is going to get hot, and I don't know which one it is. Um, I can honestly tell you, I don't care which team of of these two teams win. I hope it's a great game. Um, but whoever wins this game, I'm depending on them to beat the Chiefs. So uh, I hope whoever it is looks fucking way better than they did last week. Uh, I guess uh, when it comes down to it, I- I'm actually going to take the Bengals. In, Me in too. This. I'll take the Bengals. Me here. too. Um, I'll take the Bills. You'll take the Bills? Okay. Yep. And, and you know what? It's fair. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then the last game, which I think is actually the game of the week, uh, the twelve and five Dallas Cowboys go to San Francisco and get annihilated. Please, oh for my love God, of they're God. gonna get spanked. It's like nineteen ninety four. Yeah, over again, it's man. gonna be crazy. bad. San Francisco's favored by three and a half, mm, which is cra- I can't believe. Go 49ers. Yeah. Oh Jesus, please God, don't uh, let the Dallas Cowboys. I hope Cowboys. they just destroy them. It's not. It's not that I just I I hate any of the players or Dak. I do hate Dak and. Ezekiel Elliott, yeah. but it's and the Jerry Jones. it's the fans, and I'm not saying there's not good fans out there that are Dallas Cowboy fans. I know that there's a Dallas Cowboy fan or two that listens to this show, but they are the fucking worst. Whenever they win a playoff game, it's like, oh, we're going to the fucking Super Bowl. Blah, 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 blah. No, you jackass! You got two more games to play, and let you play them out. And if you win, great. I don't know what's worse: the Dallas Cowboy fans that you say do that, or every time Jeez. they win a game, you complain Ooh. and bitching because it's fucking annoying. <laughs> It's the worst goddamn thing in the world, Derek. I'm rooting for Dallas Fuck all the you. way. Of course you are. They them boys. Oh, shit. It's so awful. Fuck that hola, shit. Hola, hola. Uh, <laughs> go Niners. I've got the Niners winning by more than three and a half. Uh, the defense for the Niners is the difference. Uh, the, I know Dallas's defense is okay. Uh, they just shut out Tom Brady and the Bucks. Uh, in the first half. Out. I was going to say, they scored 14. In the first half. You didn't let me finish Jack off. Well, you shouldn't say shut out. Um, but, yeah, they shut them out in the first half. And so, I, I mean, kudos to them. But I think the 49ers are way too fucking talented. Yeah, I agree. Way too talented. Um, so, yeah, I'm taking the Niners in this one. How about you? Dallas. You're taking Dallas? Yeah, absolutely. By uh, 62. Me and JP. Uh, by 62. How much do you want to? Do you want to wager on yeah, this? Yeah, I would love to wager on that. I, I got to get I'll some of my what, money back. If they don't win by 62, Scotty's going to give you a blowjob. I knew that was coming. Mile away. Mm, he yeah. uses his teeth. Goddamn right I do. Okay. Uh, well. All sorry. right. Rim job. Nope. Oh, I'm in. All right. Oh, fuck. And that. you can right. use your teeth. No. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> yeah, clean it out somehow. Oh, uh, that's disgusting. It's like a horse eating an apple through the fence. <laughs> oh, we got horse talk coming. I love it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> <It's so funny. laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> You can do it in the car. Uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> right before you go to the car wash. Yeah, you got to wash it afterwards. That way you can get a detail. Oh, my oh, God. It's disgusting. A horse eating an apple through a fence. <laughs> it's one of those things that one says from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, well, that is the sports <laughs> topics for this week. 
Now he gets to get onto the fun as if we weren't already with a fucking horse eating an apple through a fence. Uh, we're going to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for these, you can send them in to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Send them to us in a message. I do read them. And to prove it, we actually have a, we have a fan suggestion this weekend, and I'm going to do his last. But first one, we're going to go overrated or underrated. Bob Ross. Bob Ross is now overrated. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, have you seen that documentary about yes, him? Yes, I have. And how he has no, they have, his family has no control over anything. Yep, I was going to drop it. They make all the money, all that money that is made goes to like this freaking lady in the, the corporation. corporation. Yep. Yeah, yeah so uh, I'm going to go, since he's passed away, overrated. While he was alive, underrated. I'm, I'm going to say Bob Ross is underrated. Um, very underrated. I think what he did while he was alive uh, was was phenomenal, and and I can literally watch like video after video of of him painting, and I will I will immediately fall fall asleep uh, if I need to. Um, but the fuckers who are now taking advantage of his name, his paints, and all of this other shit they were all, they were taking advantage of it the whole time. The he, whole time he was alive. They did it when he was alive, yeah. but after he whenever he was getting ready to pass away. They they fucked wow. him and his entire family, yeah. and so yeah. I will I I will never buy anything that says Bob Ross or a picture of Bob Ross on it ever again because of how bad they fucked that entire family and Bob Ross went against his wishes and everything. So fuck those people. I'm I'm out. So Bob Ross is underrated. All of his stuff that has his face on it now I'm is overrated because of the shit that they're getting paid money to do. The millions and millions of dollars every year. JP, underrated. Yep, love that guy. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? <sighs> furries. Hang on, man. Furries. Hang on, just watch this for a minute. Oh, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> <You're> an asshole. <laughs> let's, let's get the fuck. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, overrated <laughs> or underrated? Furries. Man. Everybody knows what that is, right? I say. Isn't that like mascots fucking or something? Pretty much. You know, I got to go underrated. <laughs> what are you I got to go serious? underrated because, look, no matter how old or haggard or ugly I get, if I put on a cat costume, I still have a giant cock. <laughs> so I could probably get laid easier oh, no. in a costume. No. So I have to say underrated for that reason. Oh, God. No. This is way overrated. What pisses me off is there are people that actually think that they're animals. And they basically put these things on because they truly believe that they are. People today are fucking psychos. They're fucking psychos. So, yeah, overrated. You're a fucking person. You're not a dog. You're not a wolf either. Jesus Christ. Overrated. Derek? Yeah, if you're a wolf, you can't play center field. <laughs> you, um, sure can. <laughs> you bet you're a, you could be a hell of a <laughs> basketball got, player. You got no, yeah. you got no Bad arm. Bad ass, man. No arm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go underrated furries, 100%. I want to know who the first furry was. Oh. And he and how he got somebody else to go, go in with, along him. with it. You know? yeah. <laughs> like how the fuck did that happen? What do you happen? say? I dress up like a wolf. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna put on this giant squirrel you, costume. Yeah, right. Uh, what do you want me to dress up as? An acorn? No, a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> and and we're gonna fuck. I don't know how we're gonna do this yet. I haven't ironed out all the details. <laughs> what do you say? Oh Jesus! Like, how did how did you coax somebody into yeah, doing that? I mean, and then that's, they told somebody like, you know what? I'll give that a I'll shot. I'll give that a shot. You know, it yeah. wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ, that's awful. Okay, I like to think that it was like just two store mascots that just so happened to bump into each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened to Toys R Us. Oh, that's how was, they went under. Jeffrey the giraffe. Jeffrey yeah. the giraffe. He was the first. He was the first furry. Uh-huh. For sure, no doubt about it. Yeah, and then he hit Biffy the bear. <laughs> <laughs> From BFI Trash Company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't remember Biffy the bear? The only reason I say that is because Why has it got to be Biffy? Because his stepdad was Biffy. <laughs> was Biffy. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. All right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, he worked for BFI and had to play in a T-ball game at Lawrence Dumont Stadium. Nice. It was great. Oh, man. And then uh, he gave Mickey Mantle a blowjob <laughs> in a bear costume that's, that's right. at Yankee Stadium. Like, that's right. And, uh, and from then on, he was a furry. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. Uh, all right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Valentine's Day. Overrated. 
That is a made-up holiday, so greeting companies can sell cards and chocolate. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the day after Valentine's Day. Because then all the candy goes on sale. Fuck yeah, yes. Damn dude. right. Yeah. I buy so much. Yeah. Dude. Like, everybody else saves money for Black Friday. Yeah. I save money for fucking Red Tuesday. Well, and the, the good thing is. is, is like the Reese's Hearts, oh. when you turn them upside down, they're butts, so you're good. You're good to go. <laughs> yeah. You are good to go. Oh, man, yeah. I love Valentine's Day candy. <laughs> it's, mm. like, it's like it's using a buttercup through a fence, you know? You just shove a pocky stick right in between the, uh, turn it upside <laughs> down. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You go. go. <laughs> Shit. True story. <laughs> Valentine's Day is overrated. It's way overrated. It's a dedicated day for men to go out and buy your wife or spouse or whatever something because we don't buy them enough shit already. I don't buy my wife. I don't either. Me and my wife think this is the dumbest fucking holiday in the world. If you want to be a good husband, don't have a designated day to buy her shit. Surprise her. Go and just get flowers. Flowers are cheap, but they love. They all love flowers. They but, die. They but all it. love flowers. All the little women love the flowers. Yeah, most of them do anyway. Yeah. But, women but, be shopping. But women do, be do they be shopping? <laughs> be shopping. <laughs> they be shopping. But do it on a do it on a random day, especially if there's a day that. But not they, on Valentine's Day. Just don't do it on Valentine's Day. Fuck valentine's day just bu- do it as a surprise they'll appreciate that way more than a fucking designated day. dude there's something to be said about a fucking assorted box of chocolates that you just don't know what you're gonna get that's next. true that's and right and i love valentine's day for the exact reason that Derek said that it was underrated it's underrated that candy sale is fucking legit <laughs> <laughs> dude there is nothing better than smoking a bowl, waiting about 10 or 15 minutes, and popping open a chocolate heart <laughs> fucking full of mug. God, I love it. Okay. All right. A friend of mine, he even as a girlfriend used to do, you may remember Dustin Morby. Um, oh, yeah. yeah back yeah, when yeah. him and For Emily. Sure. He lives when, in a van now. Yeah. Uh, back when him and Emily were dating, they would buy each other the shittiest gifts they could think of for Valentine's Day. I think one year one of them got the other one a rake, and they just wrapped the rake. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and I'm like, that is fucking that's fantastic. Awesome. Dude, that's awesome. You remember when he was in the finals of Wichita's Funniest? And he poured and syrup. And he poured syrup all over him? That was the same year I went, like, 12 minutes. Uh-huh. Yeah. He beat me that year. Yeah. Wow. Um, me too. So yeah. did everyone else. Um, but yeah, he, they would do that. And I think that is the funniest shit yeah, that that's about cool. as, about as funny as we've gotten is we went to uh, Walgreens and picked out a couple of cards and handed them to each other and then put them back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you should fill them out next time, sign them and everything yeah, yeah. and seal them up. I, <laughs> oh dude, how funny would that be just to go into Walgreens and start signing greeting cards dude, and then put for, them all back? Dude, like <laughs> writing funny shit in them. Yes. Like, dude, let's do it. Let's we do should it. dumb in. Dude, I that would in. be so fucking dude, funny. Dude, let's do it. Uh, and it won't cost us anything but being able to shop at that Walgreens again. <laughs> <laughs> and there's plenty of Walgreens. Oh, yeah. Get well soon oh, cards are going to be fucking lit. Yeah, uh, let's do it. Man. Okay. <laughs> we'll go to Southside and like, do it because we'll I get help? away with it a lot longer yeah, when we go there. Yeah, we will. You're like, can I help you, sir? No, I'm good. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm with Hallmark. Yeah, <laughs> We're yeah. just making some changes. <laughs> <laughs> We're quality control. Yeah, yeah we're, we're just making a few changes. It's corporate. Yeah. I I can't discuss it. In fact, See, my, we're those reflector vests that construction workers work. So it looks yes. like we're and carry a ladder. Carry a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, carry a ladder carry and a clipboard. A ladder and a set, clipboard. Set the ladder right up on the thing. Like, all right, here you go. <laughs> My pen's running out of ink. You got an extra pen? <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated Magnum condoms? Uh, way overrated. Yeah. Well, The only way I can wear those is if I wash them in cold air and hot water. Yeah. <laughs> the only way that's going to work. <laughs> I can put them on my head. No, they're way overrated. No, man. You guys are obviously not man enough to fill them up because <laughs> if you were i can tell you trying to squeeze into those other little ones is fucking hurtful <laughs> magnum condoms might be the most underrated thing on this show today i use them as water balloons yeah yeah they're very elastic and stretchy yes they are and they, and kinda they like, are kind of like the rectum way better <laughs> well I depend, I, after a certain age it becomes not as stretchy 
I, I believe that. Uh, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I don't know, JP. Why don't you show the oh, mine's fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm not there yet, man. Come on. I've got three or four good years left in me. <laughs> you really can't t- trust a fart, can you? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm still I'm still good there. Oh, man. No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, overrated for me. Uh, last but not least, this is uh, coming from a fan. This is actually Sidney A. Martin. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, Poking your spouse's hoo-ha or butthole when they bend over. I'm going to go overrated. Really? Yes, because if I do it, then my wife tries to do it back. (laughs) And that is not funny. That's not okay. (laughs) It's not so goddamn funny when I'm going up the stairs. Uh, Uh, Next thing you know, I'm fucking crop dusting her face, (laughs) trying to get her away from me. (laughs) It works, but then I'm on the couch. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's true. God damn it, I was gonna say underrated too because I think it's funny, but you're exactly right. They because they're getting you back. Mm-hmm. They, you are going to be dealt with, uh, and most of the time, it's whatever you do to them, they do to you. So yeah, I'm gonna agree with Derek. Overrated, JP. Overrated. Really? It just happens so often with me <laughs> that it's it's more like uh, a greeting than anything. <laughs> that's how um, that's how gay guys say hi, right? Essentially, yes. Pretty much. Yeah. You check your oil. Yep. Yeah, you'll do. Yep. Yep. This will work. It's just, oh, it's so fucking weird, man. Yeah. It's basically like. <laughs> oh my yep, god! Yep, I'm in. Oh, you that's to, disgusting. You know. Ah, shit. Well, thank you very much, Sydney, for the suggestion. That was overrated or underrated. Man, we are moving right along. We Look are. Look at us go. Look at us go. Uh, now we get to move on to Google This. Uh, these are actual things people sent into Google, and we get to act like uh, we're Google and answer them uh, for them. Uh, so first one for Google This is, does Bigfoot exist? Yes, and he's very blurry, and that's the problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for R.I.P. Mitch Hedberg. Yep, yeah, that's man. right. Um, what a Great line. Oh, it's That's a, fucking fantastic. I, I think Bigfoot is just blurry. Ah, oh, it's great. Um, I don't think Bigfoot exists. I, I know that there was a, a giant ape that is for sure extinct, but I don't think so. And I and I hate all of the people like the the uh, Bigfoot hunters. Those people. Oh well, those people are just they're just they're doing that to get money. Fucking psychos. They're, uh, the, they're no. They're, uh, they're, I don't know. Some of them some really of the believe smartest it. people. No, they don't. I swear to no, God, they some don't. of them do. That's what they want you to. They're very good actors. That's I, what they are. Oh, man. Those people, none of them think their Bigfoot is real. Not one of them. I do, like how they're like, I'm going to do the mating call. Like yeah. you've heard Bigfoot's <laughs> fuck. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to do the mating call. Yeah. Whopper whopper double whopper <laughs> triple and then Derek comes running out of the woods yeah. butt yeah. naked yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck did someone say whopper <laughs> that's the that's the mating call for bigfoot <laughs> triple double single <laughs> whopper <laughs> like, i knew it uh, do you think any of the cryptids are real what the no. cryptid, like uh, like the Loch Ness monster, right. Bigfoot, no. um, the Chupacabra. And do you think any of them are? No, you no. don't. No, we'd have found them. Yeah, I don't know. There's man. not 100%. just there's not just one. <laughs> Aliens of them. are real. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. But they keep coming over here. And we, we don't <laughs> have any more here. goddamn room for them. <laughs> I know it. I know. Oh, the grass is already getting cut. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Nessie's real. I mean, yeah, because only the only reason one. that we can't the only reason we can't say that that Nessie's not real is because we just haven't explored enough of the ocean. Fuck yeah, we to haven't. know. But they're in lakes, uh, apparently. The Loch Ness. Yeah, well, it's, that's a loch, not a lake. It's a. It's a. There's it's a, a difference. Big fucking lake, dude. It's a loch. Okay, whatever. That's why it's called Loch Ness, not Lake Ness. Okay, no, but it, Lake it, Loch. Lake Loch. Yeah, it's same thing. No. Yeah, it, it is. No. Uh, but no. Uh, yeah, I. I don't. It may be real. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Next one. Whopper, whopper. Um, <laughs> Real. Yeah. <laughs> um, next one. Uh, Google this. What does Astro Glide smell like? Scotty's farts. <laughs> <laughs> no. 100%. No, it doesn't. Dead on ringer. No, it does not. It does not. It smells like JP's ass. JP? There's no. Re- I don't use it. What? Oh, spit works real oh much my better. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ! 
That's <laughs> fine. I'm gagging over here. This is terrible. And if you do, if you if you hawk on it, <laughs> if you just hawk on it real yeah. good, oh. and if you do a line of cocaine right before, it's just like Astro Glide. I am so uncomfortable right now. Uh, no, you but asked it, the it basically smells whatever, like whatever you put it on. Okay. All right. That's what we should have said. We should have just it's left Scotty's it with farts. that. Scotty's farts. No. Oh Jesus. Next question. What do people do when they get high? Bowl twice a week and go on this podcast. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Nailed it. That's exactly it. Uh, um, let's see. I can tell you what a friend of mine does whenever he gets really, really fucking high. He lays in a camper and thinks that his uh, life keeps on rewinding. And, uh, yeah, that would be Derek. That wasn't. I wasn't high. I was tripping. No, balls. Yeah, oh, tripping that balls? was different. Yeah, yeah that's he different. was definitely. I, okay, yeah. I can tell you what I ha- what I do. This is no bullshit. If I smoke weed, I am ridiculously paranoid. Ridiculously yeah. paranoid. Yeah, you can get over. You can get over that, man. That's I, always happened it, for the first few times. It's man. it's bad. No, this is. I mean, this was after I've done it multiple times in high school. But this was recently when I have when, when I was having back issues. And uh, the stuff that you did in high school compared to now is not the same. It's not the same shit. No, You're right. Not. Yeah, I remember that one time Scotty told me he got high and he was out in the woods and he heard a noise <laughs> and then he started going whopper whopper. <laughs> And then you a, came running out of the woods wave, butt naked. Waving a bottle of Astroglide. <laughs> <laughs> and a Magnum condom. <laughs> I wore that as a uh, raincoat. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, but uh, how about you there, JP? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Every Everything I do is after I get high. This is true. I don't remember the last time I wasn't high. Yeah. That's yeah. the God's honest truth. Afro. I live my life as a, in a weed hollow case. Yep. Afro man wrote that song about you. About JP. Mm-hmm. Dude, every, I never not high. JP wears a, a sponsored cologne for himself and it's called ganja. Mm. So yeah. And it yes, smells, del- smells it delicious. Smells delicious. 60% does? of the time it works every time. That's every right. time. Uh, all right. Next one. Google this. Why does my husband blame me for everything? That's easy. Because your fucking fault. Mm-hmm. 100% of the time. It's always your goddamn fault. Even if we do something wrong, it's because somehow you influenced us to do it that way wrong. Um, yeah, you're, it's your fault 100% of the time. Derek? Because you decided my wallet belonged on top of the fridge. <laughs> Let's just tidy up the kitchen here. We're going to put your keys in the crisper drawer and your your wallet on the fridge. And there, now look how much cleaner it is. (laughs) Don't mind my hairbrush and 37 shampoo bottles in the fucking bathroom. Yeah, that's right. Gay people are different because, you know, being both men. Yeah. It's way easy to blame each other. Way, way more easy. I believe like, it. Who pissed all over the toilet lid? Oh, well, I mean, that could have been either of us. (laughs) You know what I mean? yeah, I it's, guess it's uh, that's true. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, uh, all right, last one. You should leave the toilet seat down all the time. I would if I were you. Down? Yeah, yeah. down. Just down. Who left the toilet seat? I think you guys have that argument, don't you? Yeah. All Who the left time. the goddamn toilet seat down? Yep. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Yep. We took ours completely off. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yes, perfect. Uh, last one. Google this. How do I find out if I'm adopted? You're a different color than your parents. Oh, shit. That would be <laughs> That's a, a pretty, pretty good, good indicator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty good indicator. Damn. Although, it's not a lock. Oh. I mean, <laughs> That's but a pretty good indicator. It's a pretty good indicator. Oh, man. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, how do you even follow that? I don't. I mean, you don't. I was just going to say, just ask your parents. You know, they'll be honest to you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, they won't. Ancestry.com. Yeah, Ancestry.com. Get your DNA checked, man. Because, you know, that you know helps us find serial killers later in their life. Or for those of you in the southern states, Ancestry.com. 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, how about you there, JP? Anything? How do I? How? How? I, mean, I, I think he, Derek said it all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think either. I don't think we need to go any further. It's a pretty telltale sign, you know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was Google this. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty excited for for this week's questions. I uh, I don't have answers for two of them. Uh, first one. First question is. 
pick up lines for the blind. You uh, you want to get naked so we both can't see my dick? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Um, blind people feel faces so they can feel what somebody looks like. I don't know if it's your butthole or your breath, but you smell amazing. <laughs> Scotty's like, thanks. It's Astro Glide. It's Astro Glide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, man. Uh, no, I, bl- blind people like touch your face to, to be able to make you out. I, I'd say, hey, you know, uh, you mind if I you know, touch your face so I can see you? And then <laughs> just, just balls on the face at that point. I think that's what I would do. Um, but yeah. Uh, next one. Uh, let's see. Where's that? Oh yeah. Uh, what would the worst title for a rap song be? Lad. Lad. Yeah. It's like WAP, but it stands for little ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> Lad. <laughs> I'd, be like, I'd be like, I can't get in them guts with my little ass dick. <laughs> I piss on my nuts with my little, little ass, ass dick. dick. I'm a grower, not a shower with my little ass dick. <laughs> I was digging it, man. <laughs> Keep going. Put, let's put that to a beat. No shit. You need to finish right now. That. That's a fucking hit. That's a, that's a viral sound on TikTok Absolutely. coming straight to you. <laughs> Jesus. Man. I did a real one because it, it, it is by far, far the worst fucking rap song of all time. And it's these two christian white people oh, <laughs> and i'm not gonna say it but oh I, dude what do you mean worst <laughs> it's terrible dude it's the best thing i've ever seen <laughs> no i don't know it's bad oh no it's uh, phenomenal it's it's jesus christ is my n-word and uh yeah that's uh who dude these it's people, awesome these people were being really serious oh, no, they're, making dead this serious. they're being dead yep. serious and they have no idea and so it's great but it's bad. but they, it's not the hard R. It's not the hard yeah. R. But still, they're, they're it, cool. It, no, I I I, I, no. I challenge you to find one black person that watches that video that doesn't go. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. You may be right, but it's nah. like whoo, that's that's uh you know on thin ice. You don't know. Some people can just get away with it, and those people <laughs> have Christ on their side. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, he is. Yeah, <laughs> their friend. Their friend. <laughs> <laughs> How about, They're very good friends. That's right. How about you, JP? <laughs> Their neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would say uh, informer. Okay. What informer? Why? Because that's the the rap that Snow did. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's yeah. definitely I, the worst rap song ever made. I forgot about that. It you, was pretty horrible. You know what sounds like a bad name for a rap song, but it's probably one of the best ones. What? Today was a good day. That sounds oh, like dude. a shitty name for a rap song, <laughs> it, but it's fucking. It does, but it, it is. Slap. It is slap. It's slap Fuck, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm wearing an Ice Cube T-shirt. But. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> um, let's see. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, we're gonna skip over that one. Make that one last. Uh, the best thing to fight depression is blank. Lots of things, yeah. man. The rope, gun, mm-hmm. a bottle of pills, knife. Oh, really? Dick in the ass. Drano. <laughs> Fuck. That's how I do it. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm never happier than right after I hop off a nice cock. Yeah. <laughs> and oh my yes, God. no, it doesn't last forever. I have to do it again the next day and the day after that and uh. maybe the day after that. But eventually... You're a happy person. Oh, no shit. lads for you. Huh? No lads for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. No wops, no lads. <laughs> and no whoppers for you either. A wob. <coughs> okay. Wob is what I prefer. <laughs> okay. Um, I, 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 oh, I, what is it? What ass bussy. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, skydiving. Okay. Yeah. Without a parachute. Mm. Yeah. That'll, that'll take care of it real quick. Mm. All right. Next one. It's the new feminist organization, Blanks. Cunty Karens. Okay. Mm hmm. I went with uh, Chicks United National Tribalist Society. Uh oh. Uh, you, they know their their acronym is actually more popular. Cunts. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I a lot of people say I'm racist, but woman isn't a race. <laughs> <laughs> What's do you do you have an organization name? Um women. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Who cares? Fair. <laughs> okay. Um all right. 
Last question. What's a dating site for little people? Oz.com. Fair enough. All right. I like it. Miniature Mingle, Tiny Tinder, and Itsy Bitsy Grinder. Just for you. Nice. Itsy Bitsy <laughs> Grinder yeah. goes up the anal spout. <laughs> Down comes the rain and washes the midget out. <laughs> How about you, Derek? Uh, WeHarmony.com. <laughs> WeHarmony. I like that. I like that. Or there's the uh, the offshoot of Plenty of Fish. It's Handful of Minnows. <laughs> handful of Minnows. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, I like the We Harmony. <laughs> we Harmony is pretty good. Uh, we yeah, we right. Harmony is great. Duncan.com. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, guys, uh, sorry we don't have a uh, what's in the box this week. Uh, we'll we'll make sure we go by the P.O. box. I'm sure they're pissed at us. I'm sure we got quite a bit there. The people uh, are going to stop sending things. I, no, 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 keep on coming. Uh, but uh, stop with the glitter. Uh, I uh, I tried to vacuum up back Sweet. here. The more glitter, the better, and preferably when you open the package, it uh, goes explodes, everywhere. Yeah. yeah, believe it or not, a really excellent vacuum cleaner really struggled with a bunch of glitter dicks. So well, that's because uh, you were bobbing for them with your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was. Uh, you got to use your tongues. Pretty, yeah, less, yeah, yeah, less you teeth, do. more tongue. Gotcha. Um, all right, but uh, now we get to move on to our uh, my fa- well one of the most popular parts of the uh, the show, and that is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, hey, we got JP back, so you actually get to participate. Back to back weeks, if baby. If you didn't come in last place, you would have got to draft uh, wherever. For, right, but yeah. I did but come you, in last But you place. came in last did place. Oh, my really? God. Yeah. I thought we tied. You came last. Did we tie? Uh, no. Let me uh, see if you no. tied. I'll yeah. fix it. Oh, no. Please, I, I will, please look I will at it unfix quick. it. I am not. Please look at that real quick. I am not. No, don't do it. I, last I looked, we were tied, and it was like this morning. I, I, I'll vote for myself then. Weirdest places to see a little person. Yeah. Comment. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Some of the comments were great, by the way. Oh, it is a t- It was a tie. It was a tie. And now I win. No. JP's the winner. Hey. Oh, damn it. Voting is closed, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Oh. Well, so I actually won. JP gets uh, second, and Scott very took nice. third. Very okay. nice. All right. I'll, I'll oh, you just missed the cutoff, I, I guess I did. <laughs> Honestly, tying with Scotty is basically a loss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, so that means, uh, and that was, uh, what was it, weirdest places to see a midget? Yep. Okay. We got to give Scotty the first pick. Yeah, you got to get, because yeah. I'm so, like, hated on this show, which really sucks. I'm the one who puts it all together for you, the listener. Oh, they don't care, man. Yeah, they do. I know. Secretly, they love me. It's okay. Yeah, they do. I That's know. true. Man. It's really I true. Imbi- <laughs> it's so weird. I don't I like know. it. It's it made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, oh, well. At the live show, how I, many people actually came up to you and told you you were great. I know. <laughs> I, I appreciate all of you. Yeah. They okay. didn't mean it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Definitely not. All right. So we're going to stick with the theme that's coming around the corner. Uh, and that is Valentine's Day. We are going to do a draft, which is going to be the worst things to get your spouse for Valentine's Day. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I am going to get first pick, I guess, and I am going to take workout equipment. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Honey, you're one. fat. Why don't you yeah, go ahead and one. lift some of these? Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's mine. Uh, JP, you get your first pick. Divorce papers. Fucker. Damn. We're just uh, keep, we're just going back. Oh, look at this. Yes. I think that is a very good one-two punch to beat Derek. Don't let Derek win. Don't Please, have, for the love of God, don't people. Let him just win. vote for JP. I don't care who you vote for. Vote for Scotty. I, I don't think that. I mean, if you uh, want it's to. It's not going to happen. But yeah, you, he's right. Vote for me. You vote for JP. Vote for me. Whiny cunts. Yep. 
Uh, but Derek, you get two picks, man, back to back. Go for it. A gym membership. Oh, that's yeah, workout that's the same as no, workout It's equipment. not. It's that, different. That well, because you have to go. So that's worse, probably. <laughs> yeah. so you have to get in the car and go there. <laughs> and then you're like, "How did you go to the gym today?" Yeah. <laughs> so, Let me see your punch doesn't. card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smell your pussy. Yes. <laughs> you go <laughs> to the gym today. It doesn't smell like gym. Oh man. Well, it smells like, like gym, gym, but not not, not the, the right gym. Yeah, right. exactly. Mm-hmm. Like Slim Jim. And mm-hmm. your second um, expired coupons. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a massage, honey. I got you a massage. Uh, you got to okay. use this by 1994. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, J- 30% off at Radio Shack. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, free rental at Blockbuster. Um, JP, your f- uh, ne- uh, second pick. Heart-shaped anything. Heart-shaped anything? Okay. Heart-shaped anything Okay. is the most... Oh, come on. Chocolates? You, Cho- lo- you love those. But I don't give them. I get them after Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, you get them or, for uh, yourself. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to say a, a personalized something, like an engraving or something, but it's misspelled. <laughs> or yeah. just the wrong yeah. name altogether. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Happy gonna... Valentine's Day, Susie. <laughs> wrong, wrong person. Wrong girlfriend. Um, Sorry, they. I wrapped them exactly the same. Yeah. Um, let's see. God dang it. Let's see. I'm gonna. God damn it. I'm gonna say. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't want to, but I'm gonna go with. Uh, uh, a gift card. I don't. Okay. I, I think I like a gift card. I don't know necessarily where to, but I just Outback Steakhouse. Yeah, we'll go with that. Outback. Okay, but I'm just gonna go with the gift card because that's just so impersonal. That's so worse than cash. I hate it when people give you gift cards. It's like, no, now you're forcing me to go to one place to spend your money, and I hate that fucking place. So, oh, oh, gift card to Cabela's. There you there go. There you go. So I'll take that. Okay. Uh, JP roses. Oh wait, hold on. Do I get another one? I don't know. No, nope, I don't know. It's right. Uh, you said roses. Roses. Okay. So cliche. So uh, just overpriced. If you're going to spend that much money Shit. on you, I, if somebody got me a bunch of roses for Valentine's day, I'd suck their dick, but I wouldn't be happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. It, it's, I, I'm kind of weird. But I, I've always been told that the only time that men ever get flowers is at their funeral. So mm. I actually think of it as kind of a different way. If some, if a, if your wife gets you flowers, she wants to kill you. <laughs> right? She wants you dead. <laughs> no, I think it's the like sentiment, the mafia thing. But it can't be on Valentine's Day. It has to be random because that that means more. But okay, while you're in hospice, right? Uh, <laughs> Derek, you get two. <laughs> um, Summer's Eve. No. What is that? Any kind of douche. You can just put that. Ooh. (laughs) Pussy stinks. (laughs) And uh, oversized clothes. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Honey, I got you a 4X nightgown. (laughs) I'm a medium. (laughs) Right now you are. Oh. (sighs) Could have fooled me. Uh, Yeah, no joke. That's a very selfish present. (laughs) It it really is. For you to give somebody. Yeah, right? It's for me. Yeah. Uh, JP. The silk is very smooth. Mm-hmm. Do I just get one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Double sided dildo. <laughs> and this is for straight people. Oh. It would be a great gift for a gay couple, <laughs> but for a straight couple, double sided dildo is not a good <laughs> gift for Valentine's. <laughs> Honey, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> Go get the squirrel costume. We got plans. <laughs> we got plans. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna go with gas station knickknacks. <laughs> okay. Little bell that says Kansas. <laughs> no, it's just because at that point you're already giving it away that you forgot. God. You fucking just ate shit. Well, they do have those little glass roses that you can use to smoke <laughs> meth. So yeah, that wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm trying to see here. Yeah, I know. 
You guys are cheating. We are cheating. I actually, shit on your phone, I actually have only used one thing I've looked up on this phone. That's one too many. Remember that when you guys go to vote. I didn't look anything up. These are all, <laughs> these are all my answers, not Google's. Um, and he means in the 2024 election. Correct. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Please vote. I'm gonna or g- die. Or die. I'm gonna f- and if you're going to vote, vote Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> that should be his whole slogan. If you're going to vote. Vote Kanye. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this draft with uh, my last pick, and uh, I think it's a pretty good one. I actually came up with this off the top of my head. I'm going to go with a kitchen appliance, you know, to help her do her job. So I'm going to end with that one. I think that's a good gift. I don't. Yeah. Because I, don't. I still I still make him wash dishes by hand. <laughs> you uh, all get with you, We do have a dishwasher, yes, but you're not fucking using it. <laughs> you'll get in there and you'll scrub them down right. That's electricity. <laughs> damn right. We're not made of money. Okay, fair. <laughs> How about you? Uh, Shut that window unit off. <laughs> last, uh, last pick there, JP. A box set of Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. That was the best gift I ever got. I was going to say. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. And last uh, pick for you, douchebag. I think you get, he's talking picking again. You, yeah, I get to pick one more time. <laughs> yeah, <apparently. okay>. <laughs> fucked up. Um, I'm sorry, dickhead. My Cubs mind. season tickets. No, that's <laughs> yeah. Right now, yeah. Yeah, pretty uh, much. That's awful. It's torture. Bear season say, tickets. A half eaten box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you know that from experience. I, you definitely didn't Google that. that. That is definitely from experience. Oh, that's Forrest Gump. I hate some. <laughs> that's what that is. Oh, uh, shit. Do you have any? I, I mean, I went totally blank on this one. Do you have any honorable mentions, any of you guys? Uh, yeah. What do you got? Uh, power saw. <laughs> Viagra, yeah, car, yeah, carpenter work, mm-hmm. like that. I, I think that it, was for Jeremy. I, I could, yeah, I couldn't think of of anything along these lines. But have you ever tried or know anybody that tried to get a gift for each other when it's totally for you, right? Like I was gonna like say, Derek's nightgown. No, like sexy <laughs> underwear, right? That's oh, not. Right. That's, that's not, not for, for her. her. That's for no, you, that's dickhead. For you. Yeah, singing telegram. Oh That's yeah, that yeah, like a like barbershop that, quartet coming in. No, I was thinking more like the guy that that looks like me that runs around in a diaper and delivers donuts. For, oh yes, yeah, that that there's guy. A, that's a guy. That, there's a yeah. real guy that does that. Diaper yes. donut, do, diaper donut is it, guy. Yeah. Is it Duncan? Hertz, no, Hertz, 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 Hertz donuts. Hertz yeah, well. they uh, they Hertz have a guy. So good, and we get, we do that to our boss who hates oh, being wow. touched and uh, doesn't like like uh, you do homosexuality too? every year. Nice. And what do you mean doesn't like homosexuality? It make, it I makes, don't believe that. It makes him feel very uncomfortable. Because he's a homosexual. Probably. Oh, no, that's the only reason. <laughs> that's right. Look, if you're yeah, if you're comfortable with who you are and I tell you, man, I actually stopped a guy at a quick trip the other day. It's the it was the most beautiful guy I've ever seen, and I told him so. Mm-hmm. I don't do that ever but i was like dude i just have to tell you man i hope you take this as a compliment and i'm not trying to hit on you or anything like that you're probably straight but dude you're the most beautiful dude i've ever seen really and before i knew and it, i really his, appreciated that and uh <laughs> before i knew it Derek had his dick in my mouth <laughs> so it worked uh-huh. <laughs> you know yeah. probably the, the man i was such a piece of shit for this but one year my wife <laughs> my wife decided uh she had went and got like all these like not popsicles, but the type of sticks that go in popsicles. Oh, yeah. Popsicle sticks. That's pretty Pops- much, but they're not popsicle tongue sticks. Tongue depressors. Tongue, whatever. Whatever. Okay. But she'd colored them different colors, like, on the ends and wrote, like, a different date night activity. And she did, like, I, I want to say there were, I don't know if there was one for every week. She did, like, a hundred of them. Holy crap. <laughs> and we never pulled one of them. Oh, <laughs> oh man, dude. Man. They sat in the kitchen, like, on oh. that little island for the entire year. And oh. I'm like, man, now looking back at it, I was like, what a piece of shit. I oh, am. oh man. I, I'm the same way. Wow. I, I feel so terrible. So there is a reason why we don't, me and my wife don't get each other like Christmas gifts. Uh, first of all, if I want something bad enough, I'm, I'm going to, go I'm it. just going to go get That's it. That's how my ex and I were. When yeah. It, yeah. And so, the, so it's just, it's pointless. And the yeah. same thing for her. If she wants something, I'm going to go buy it for her. Yeah. I don't need a fucking holiday. But there was one time when we first started dating, 
this was actually Christmas, and we said, okay, we just, we're not going to you know go too crazy, but that was the last year we did Christmas gifts, and she got me a children's book about spaghetti because that was my favorite food that I never read. Um, and then I got her a refurbished MacBook from the 90s because I thought it wow. was newer than that. Wow. <laughs> and it was a pile of shit. Wow. So, so, yeah, that's why we don't do gift gifts like that because we're hard to shop for. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, so that is... Uh, How our- are either one of you still married? <laughs> I don't like, know. <laughs> and hilarious. I'm single. What the fuck? <laughs> Like seriously, because, man. Because there's a level of I'm a great guy. There's a level of humor with with our relationships that I think there that would have to be. Our wives get along yeah. very well, yeah. and so it it is kind of that way. I get so, that yeah, for sure. Just, I get that. It's just the way. Uh, but anyways, that is our laughing on the sidelines draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji. Remember, yeah. don't vote for Derek. Uh. I'm gonna actually have to switch the the actual emojis around. Derek is normally the the cock sucking face. The and wow, I've got to have that, and you got to have yep. that. JP, yep. so JP is now gonna be the cock sucking face, and Derek will be the the big laughing face because he's you know kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, you can go and vote uh, uh, again at facebook.com laughing on the sidelines, and uh, yeah, vote for the list that you like the best. Uh, that uh, draft drops on uh, Wednesday, right around lunchtime, sometimes earlier, but that's when I try to have it done. So check that out, vote and. Whoever wins next week gets a blowjob from JP. So for that matter, oh I hope, God, I hope it's me. I hope JP wins. <laughs> well, I'm going to need somebody to hold my ankles, well, but I can do it. We can help you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and the new segment that we haven't started yet because we don't have any questions from you guys, but uh, it's called No Mo about a homo and that would we be we need those questions we need those questions i would love to answer if you your have questions. any questions send them to us at laughing on the sidelines to where you can ask a homo anything, anything. and it, trust me you want my advice exactly and you don't have it doesn't have to be about, i would be an excellent life coach <laughs> <laughs> yes you would this you know, is you should smoke weed and yeah. i know <laughs> exactly one. i know exactly what not to do so ask me right right yeah so, exactly so you, yeah i'm trying to help you not make the mistakes that I made. Correct. Right. <laughs> but you can send them to us. Uh, just whenever you send us your question, just put, uh, I don't know, I don't want Instagram to take it down. Just hashtag homo. <laughs> just hashtag homo. That's fine. Yep. Um, but yeah, you can send them to us. And it doesn't have to be about gay stuff. It can be about anything. Anything. At yeah, all. it doesn't have to be about anything you gay. Can, but, but yeah, it'll be fun. You can text them to Scotty. No, you can. Yeah, see, I will. Be text, the that sh- is 316. I, I, no. You know what? I'm actually going to change my. My TikTok name to Scotty, and then your phone. Your phone number. number. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gonna dick. comment horrible on things everything. on everything I yeah, see. Uh, for that's, sure, that's, that's smart. That's, yeah, that's awful. Like that. That's terrible. You guys are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but anyway, I got a funny fucking thing to show you real quick. Speaking of that, okay, what do you got? So there was a video I commented on. I didn't tell you this story. Okay, and it's two dudes, and uh, one cup. No, no, <laughs> one one bowl. One bowl, yeah. Oh. It's going to be a lot more than a cup. <laughs> it's two dudes, God. and I'm going to show you this. <laughs> two dudes, a dude. cup of coffee, and a bowl. You oh cannot tell God. me. Damn it. So it's Destiny HQ Clips on TikTok is where I found this. Yeah. And it was some political interview, but that's beside the point. It wasn't anything about politics. I look at this dude, and it's a, a white dude on the right and a black dude on the left, and they're split screen. I know exactly who that guy is. But and this black dude... Looks like a white guy in blackface. One hundred percent, right? No, no, I know. One hundred percent looks like it. So I, 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 it is. gets better. Okay. Uh, I comment, "Why that dude look like he's in blackface?" <laughs> <laughs> and then TikTok sends, "You posted a good question through comments. <laughs> Ask the question using Q and A to get quality answers from the TikTok community." <laughs> Because <laughs> all the answers that come from the TikTok community are quality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God shit. Damn it. Great question, Derek. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. TikTok's fucking racist. All right. I couldn't fucking believe it. But that dude does look like a white guy he in did. blackface. Uh, 100%. Uh, he's very intelligent. Uh, but anyways, 
Uh, now, uh, I didn't question his intelligence. Nobody I just said, said anything what he looks about it, yeah. Like. I'm just saying. Okay, uh, but yes, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather star in the new hit music video of the new hit song, Lad? <laughs> yeah, Little Ass Dick. <laughs> little Ass Dick. dick. Or would you rather date the 22-year-old girl that looks like she's eight? Ouch. Mm. Yikes. Well, uh. If you were in that music video, it makes sense that you would be dating the tiny girl. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. Maybe, maybe I would, yeah. Is, you know what? Situations you kind I'll of have answer to do first, both. and I will say both. <laughs> I will definitely say both. That is the only answer. That really is. now. I mean, now that you said that, that is we should have thought about that a little harder because, yeah. That's the only good answer is both. That is the one chick that's going to turn JP out. Oh, oh for sure. Jesus for sure. That tight, little, that, that tight little butthole. Oh. I'm in. <laughs> right, here's how we got canceled. Uh, <laughs> Jesus and this, Christ. And this is the day we got canceled. Yeah. I knew better than to have yeah. JP on back-to-back -back weeks. It. He just gets coming. too comfortable. He does. Um I, I I am super starring in that uh, that new music video of the oh, new yeah, hit song are. "Little Ass Dick." I knew that was first be of all. Your, yeah. It's fucking dead on balls accurate. That's first thing. Second thing, I will dance. I will do whatever they want me to fucking do if it embarrasses me for the rest of my life. I don't care. I would still much rather do that than everybody that sees me with this girl think that I'm fucking an eight year old. I don't care that she's 22 years old, and I hope that she finds love somewhere. With some other eight-year-old. <laughs> With some other kid that had cancer that she's started the his molester. growth. She's yeah. the That's a, uh, yeah. whoa. I, 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 yeah. I can't do it. There's just no way. I, pedophiles are pieces of shit. I'm out. So yeah, um, that's what I'm going with. Uh, how about uh, how about you there, Derek? <laughs> they uh, should send her into schools undercover to get the teachers that are raping the yes, kids. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That that's a great awesome. job. She should. She could have so many jobs. She could. She could. She finds love uh, there. Mm -hmm. uh, meets us. Meets for sure. A, meets a sixteen. With a science teacher. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, that's so wrong. Okay, Derek. Okay, sorry. Derek. Sorry. Go ahead. Does she have tits? I, I don't mean, believe so. I don't know. I wasn't looking. Okay, um, I'm. I'm gonna have to. Does take, she have tits? Because if she has tits, if, I'll she has, fuck her. if she has tits, you know she's not eight. You know, right. you know what I mean. Does I don't know. An eight year, no. The only person I ever knew that had tits at eight I need, was me. I need a little information <laughs> before I make my decision. Uh, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna date the chick. What? Yeah. Uh, oh. Here's the deal. I don't have to marry her. It doesn't That's say true. that I have to fuck her. No. So, but and, you would. And, well, I mean, why I mean, wouldn't you? And here's the thing. I could tell people like it's her make a wish or something. Well, there you go. You know what I mean? There yeah, you take, go. taking it's, her to Chuck E. Cheese and everything like that. Let her, her to, let her let her play around the ball pit. No, I'm not fucking taking her. To, you think I'm an asshole? We're going to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Dave okay. and Buster's, okay. man. Yeah. Top golf. Yeah, I'm totally taking her to Dave and Buster's. You know what? That bitch is drinking beers. <laughs> not only that, <laughs> but she know. can she can uh, that little game where you shoot the basketballs. You could just lift her up and she yeah. can go under the. Oh yeah, for, oh, sure. for sure. And then dunk. Yeah, I'm taking that bitch to bars <laughs> and sure. getting, letting her drink. Oh, man. And when people are like, you're letting it. No, dude, she's 23. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to take her to fucking kid places. I'm totally dating that broad. Oh, jeez. I'm okay. in. All right. Oh, my so, God. Scotty, Five days. Scotty's going to star in the video. You're oh, going to date the I'm, chick, and I'm, I'm going to do both. I'm going to be. I'm going to do. I'm going to play that role so well. It, it's amazing, and I'm sure I'm really shocked with you there, Derek. I figured. I mean, you. No, I'm taking her into fucking Seven Eleven, letting her buy lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> lottery <laughs> tickets and a slurpee. Yeah, she's got these. It would be. She's I'm not gonna it. lie. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't pack of cigarettes. Uh huh. If it wasn't for just just the appearance of looking like an eight year old, if if she, oh, I don't know. I'm on it, dude. Uh, she'd be perfect to date. In, she, in three years, I'd be like, "Hey, uh, why don't you go rent a car?" Think about how much <laughs> how much money you could save at the movies. Oh, for oh, sure, dude, clothes. Th there's all kinds of things like that, though. Like, uh, if she had a great personality, wouldn't you just fuck with everybody around you, and that would be fun? Yeah, yeah. yeah be, I think that be. would be awesome. Yeah, but yeah, no, I can't do it. No, just you're good. You just keep superstarring, but yeah, I'm gonna okay. superstar that role. And that, and you were actually picked for the lead in that, uh, but you backed out. No, no, I wasn't. Yeah. I wrote it, bitch. <laughs> you wrote, I it. wrote it, bitch. Didn't you just hear me? <laughs> it's a biography. I spit straight fire, G. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's a rapist. J mm. Jesus Christ? No, he's not. He's my N word. <laughs> oh, God, that's so terrible. Okay, all right. You could be. You could do worse. No, you could. 
Uh, but no, I had a lot of fun on this episode, guys. I, I, I hope you guys. I always have it. a blast. I coming know. On the we show. we I love, love having here. JP on the show. Um, I have and, nothing uh, else to do. Uh, it's true. That's why we. That's why I picked you. Everybody else had stuff going on. Right. Yeah. I, I know. No, I already. Come know. on, no, man. I, I knew that already. Everybody Three people texted me and were like, "Hey, we didn't. We said we couldn't do the show. He's probably going to call you." <laughs> like after the third person, you finally were like, "Hey, man, you want to do the show?" And I was like, "Yeah, I guess." <laughs> Absolutely. It's uh, it's a uh, it's free and it's uh, it's kind of a dating service for me. Everybody knows. There you go. There you go. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for uh, for continuing to do what you guys have always done. Uh, sharing our TikToks helps us grow. Um, there's yeah, we, and we have a lot of fun doing the show. So uh, I know um, I've been saying it and saying it, and saying it. Um, we're eventually going to take a break uh, because I'm going to be kind of doing stuff to the studio to make it a little bit more comfortable. Uh, so that is coming up. Um, thank God. Yeah, there'll be a it'll be a pretty pretty lengthy little break, probably two three weeks, uh, so we can get some stuff uh, down here in the studio to where it's a little bit more comfortable for us as well. Um, and that'll probably be after the Super Bowl. Um, so just giving you kind of the, the heads up. We may do one episode after the Super Bowl, recouping this, or you know, recapping the Super Bowl and stuff like that. But but that's kind of the dead time, so it's a perfect time for us to to you know spend some time with their families, you know, stuff like that. Right, JP? Yes, my family. <laughs> God bless them. <laughs> um, little Tim. And yeah, that's right. Little John. Uh, little John. Little John. <laughs> <laughs> little Pump. Little Uzi Vert. That's right. All the Lils. Little Lad. All of the Lils. Phil and yeah. Yeah. Phil and Lil. Yeah. Uh, no, that was hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of eight year olds. No, they're they're grown now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so very much. Keep keep doing what you guys are doing and uh, sharing our TikToks and spreading the word. We uh, we really do appreciate. It. And as always, we like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope someone rubs Tabasco in your eyes and then sprays the tip of your penis with bear mace. <laughs> oh my god! If you don't like us, not a bad Saturday night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Whopper, whopper, double <laughs> whopper. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>